Right, so I've actually used the... And it's in beta, so don't expect the world from it. But but there's an interesting new text-to-image version called XR, obviously, fittingly, because it's called XTool. And so I gave it a prompt. You get uh, 500 coins to start with. This is literally just the first go I've had. I have experience with mid-journey, so I've done things like this before and then made them into SVGs. Um, so you get 100 images with this. I literally just went for an easy one. Cartoon owl with big eyes, large beak and wings, black block colours that are easy to laser engrave to see if it could pick that up. And it gave me this in isometric format, which is interesting. So I imported it to the canvas. And then we're here now. This was the original. Um, obviously, it was um, it was coloured before. Um, but, um, you know, when you turn it down, here you get more... Uh, of this and so this is an interesting extra because not only can you do all these interesting things with and here's it with color now with the, the eyes obviously you won't get that unless you can do color engraving on metal and things like that but this is an interesting extra that i didn't have uh like we, we're used to just creating things on mid journey or buying super selective well-designed uh, svgs and things from etsy and other designers and things and so this is an interesting extra that is in XTool Creative Space that I haven't seen in any of the other software yet. I've used Snapmaker, Luban, obviously Lightburner, Laser, uh, Gerbil, and things like that. And so this is an interesting extra in case you do fancy just creating things within the software and importing them uh, as an extra option. Obviously, what I would do here is I'd make it sharper. I'd also remove and go lower on the grayscale, not to the extent where you lose any of the interesting uh, parts of it, but I would uh, yeah go about here. And then um, you've got an interesting thing you could put on a coaster or any other interesting uh, designs that you might have. Right, so now I've gotten my AI generated owl image. I figured I'd drag it onto here. So once you've connected your XTool, whether that's the P2 or the D1 Pro or anything else, um, you will be able to add that to your existing thing. Now with the P2's camera, you can then instantly see what you're doing. Um, so I've adjusted it to this corner part um, and I'm going to move that to the corner here. I'm also going to put a, like a, a rectangle around it just so it can sort of cut it out and we'll see what happens, a sort of makeshift uh, coaster type thing uh, and see how that works. So I'm going to do that here. The cut, I believe, is 130 millimeters per second. I'll have to check that after. And uh, I'm going to do a tiny other rectangle within that that's just going to be a sort of engraved uh, bit here just to sort of give it a bit of a non-zero amount of design so um, like dark enough to give some contrast here so I'm going to try this maybe even like 155 um, and we'll see how that goes and um, that's how you get your your projects done for an AI generated text to image um, plugin within the XTool creative space obviously you can just prompt mid journey you can use the chat GPT plugins to then uh, there's one called photorealistic that can create from your human language uh, good prompts for mid journey uh, but XTool have built it in here so you can do that from here now next I'll show you how it looks when you've actually cut it out